Hello. Right. This is a two-part video. Um, I've done it in two parts because I didn't want to upload you like a 40-minute video. And I felt it was probably better to give it um, each part its own little bit. So the main point of this video is the crystal placement uh, video, which I'll put a card to. But the first part is um, I've sculpted my clear base and I am now going to apply different shades of pink. So the first one that I'm applying, this one is Hot Magenta, it's my favourite, but this nail was a little bit thinner than all the other nails in terms of I want them to all be a very similar shape. So I've normally used quite a wet bead um, and just sort of paint it on, but this time I wanted to create a bit of bulk with it. So I've made that tip a bit thicker and then I'm going to use the Hot Magenta to patch it all together. Um, as I'm applying it up around the cuticle area, I'm like, oh, I need to mix this powder. Um, and I've already done like some on the other hand, that's why there's loads of pink around. So I'm pulling it down, I'm like, oh no, it's not, it needs a bit of a mix. So I'm about to go mix it, and then I spill literally half the pot everywhere. I was absolutely gutted. So it's going to jump in a moment, and all of the background, like all that pink on the paper is going to be gone. It's going to be a clean piece of paper, because it went everywhere. And as you know, it's my favourite, so I was really upset about that. Um, so yeah, and so what I've done is I've made that tip, you know, widened that tip with this powder, and then I'm sorting out the top bit, and then I'm going to fill in that middle bit like I kind of do with a three colour ombre. So yeah, spilled it everywhere, but there's still quite a lot left, so I was alright. That's why I like having, you know, paper everywhere, because then you can sort of tip it back in. Obviously, unless you've been filing, then you're not going to do that, but I hadn't. So yeah, I'm just trying to sort this nail out now, and then I'm going to move on, and I am going to create, like, the other nails with the other pinks. This is Tudor Rose on the little finger. I'll split it up just a little bit because you don't need to watch me do it for hours. It's just one colour. Um, I do cap these nails. So I don't want to use all of my colour powder up. So I cap each nail, even though they are just flat colours. If it was a shorter nail, I probably wouldn't bother. But because she's obviously got quite a long extension here, I want to make sure that I've got a nice apex and everything to it. Um, I create a little bit out of the colours, but you'll see in a little while when it comes to capping how thin it actually is, you know, on the um, extension bit. I'm still full of my cold. So, yeah, it's still, like, literally doing all these voiceovers. Um, well, I've got this raging sinus infection. Fantastic.
what my next colour on the next finger is going to be Ava May. It's a flat pink, no sparkle or shimmer to it. Not that it matters too much because this set's going to be matte anyway. Um, a slightly the cuticle working down. Not, not doing what I did, which is it's been so long trying to get a nice shape that I actually push it all to the side. It kind of floods a little bit. Um, trying to make sure. It just. I picked up too wet of a bead, really, to be honest, and I didn't work quick enough and pull it down quick enough, so it was just one of those things. Um, so I'm just sorting out the side walls, um, making sure that it's not flooded, which it still is. It's ridiculous. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I would have showed you the other hand where I hadn't made this mistake, but um, as I said before in one of my previous videos, I have a new stand. Um, this is the first video that I've done with the new stand and there is another one coming up with it as well and um, Not really it, I can't see my phone when I'm recording so I can't really see the angle of um, The nails so the other hand was a little bit out of shot So I have got to work with what I've got at the moment um, yeah there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period I'm afraid because um, there's a three videos that I've done this one another set an opal set which obviously isn't up yet and um, a one where I've recorded my own fail at doing my own nails um, and it's all just a bit like I recorded them all and then I come to edit them all and that's when I see how the angles are and how whether it's okay or not so that's why it's a little bit of a weird angle really it's not as as if you are doing it you know so I'm just pulling that down now um, because I don't want it to be too thick on the tip I like it to be nice and thin so make sure that it's covered and then my next colour that I'm coming on with the middle finger with is I mixed it myself so I've used some I think I maybe used Lucy I think Lucy and then I've mixed in some Ava May, some Tudor Rose and some Hot Magenta. Right, it didn't mix well at all, as you see in a minute. It was a really like bizarre, you see the marbly bit, like all the different colours. So what I'm doing is I've picked up a wet bead and I'm mixing it up on the nail to make that consistent colour. Because I just didn't have a colour that matched the tone that I wanted. I wanted it to be like a darker pink, but I didn't have one that was the right match for this so I've sort of mixed them all together so then I'm applying it wet and thin and like swirling it with the tip of my brush and then painting it down just to get it to be a consistent colour so I'll let you just watch me do that because my cord is just you don't need to listen to this so <laughs> sorry So I've got a three colour ombre now and I've started with hot magenta, putting it on the tip and pulling it upward so I've got a nice blend. I'm not using much of it because I've just really pigmented so I don't need to. Then I'm going to apply the middle colour this time. Um, usually I don't, I apply the middle colour last but because I'm working from dark to light and um, she's obviously got quite a she needs that apex, I didn't mind doing it that way. Um, 
I'm gonna have to pick up a bead of that custom mix color and mix it all together on the nail and I sort of even though it's not in camera what I keep doing is I keep pulling the other hand up and I'm doing each bit at a time on the same hand so I've gone on done that on the other hand and then doing this bit on the other hand so mixing it in again and then creating that nice ombre down the, to the tip and I'm going to come in with my lighter colour which I'm sure is Ava May. Um, if it's not I'll give a little comment in a minute and I'm going to do the same and then what I keep doing is I just keep using little bits and making sure that I've got a really smooth blend and then in a minute there'll be a shot of both of the thumbs together where you can see the full effect of it. of them both together in a minute and then I'm moving on to capping I'm having to show you the other hand capping because this one again wasn't in shot very much and um, this one did show how thin the nails actually were better but as you can see this thumb's already kind of going out of shot a bit anyway so there's both of them together it's a bit wet so it's showing it off a bit more but they're quite nice um, I'm gonna get some uh, add a little bit more of that hot magenta to make sure the blends right and then I'm gonna move on to capping which I've kept in um, so that you can just see how I've done it. I try and do it in one bead so I've moved on to a bigger brush because it's um sorry so I can do it then in one bead it doesn't take as long. Um, I sometimes don't manage it though it just depends on how much one I've put in and how hot it is and stuff. So that's that. I've sped it up because you don't need to um, 
you know what capping is, I just want to show you how I do it. I'm also going to put little beads in the middle, I'm just, I've checked from the side and I'm making sure that I've got a nice apex and it's nice and flat and smooth, not lumpy and bumpy because that makes it much easier when you come to file. So I'll just let you watch this bit for now. finished there's some videos at the end just of what the set looks like after I've finished and I put the crystals on um, and then there's going to be another video of the crystal placement coming up uh, I've just put some on on that so that because it's such a you know like there's a design underneath that so when I put a bit of monomer onto the um, nail it just makes that clear sit really clear there's no air bubbles or anything underneath it um, you do will need to be careful because obviously mon will start to make the acrylic underneath sticky so I wouldn't just like put monomer over it if I wasn't going to put um, more acrylic over the top because that's going to somewhat like it's going to make it you know sticky and horrible so just sorting out the apex and then what I'll be doing is I'll be filing and I'll be adding crystals um, and the little bit in there at the end so these are with the crystals on so that's what they look like. I think this is outside, and though this is definitely outside this one here anyway. Um, so here's that bit. That's what they look like in the sunshine, but not sunshine. Um, and then there's a picture as well um, of it, of them, where I've added a little bit of extra, like you know, the light flares I used an app called Kira Kira, just because obviously you can't get it very well on a video. Don't pick it up. So I'll pop a card in to me placing the crystals and thanks for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye.